Uh, Craig, Jay and, and uh, Robert, um, thanks for spending a little time chatting to Ken's blog. You guys must be mad first and you're learning from the maddest person of the three of them by the sounds who's encouraging you to do something incredible. Where does this inspiration come from for your dream for a start, Robert? I think that um, you know it all begins when you're young and I think part of what we're all together on is to inspire young people in a world that's often not so full of dreams, uh, a bit gloomy, that you can have a dream, you hang on to it, you can make it happen, and at the same time give something back while doing it. So I met these pirates uh, not so long ago, and um, they were talking about doing this, and I think my part in it, only a modest part, was really to say, well, just do it. And here we are, this is the beginning of their journey, and I'm extremely proud to be part of it because they're doing it for the right reason and what they've seen you know it's all very well saying you know the world's changing and got climate change and global warming these people have actually seen it these guys have witnessed it you know in places where there's ice now there ain't much ice in Cairns but you know if you put a block of ice on the street in Cairns and it's zero degrees here it'll stay here forever if it gets to plus half it'll melt so where we're stupid enough in my view sensible enough to go we go to where there is ice and it is melting you know the guys have seen it during their mountaineering I see it every year in the Antarctic and in the Arctic and we should listen to that so not only they're going on an adventure they're doing something with it and that's what really matters to me um, you know in a country where it's really important they take this issue seriously and bluntly, they don't take it seriously enough in Australia. And so, you know, it's fantastic that these guys are coming forward, pushing the envelope, and getting people going on it. Because we can't sit back comfortably in Australia and say, she'll be right, mate, and hope that the world will sort itself out. We've got to do something about it, and they are. And listening to your story tonight, it seems it's a materialistic world that we live in and, and this reaction is, is really some way of actually doing something which is quite natural and beautiful I guess because seeing all that waste that's around there must really anger you that we are a wasteful human race. Well we are yes but at the same time I don't think you can say no to people. What we've got to do is we've got to be able to say yes you can do it but do it in the right way. So what they're doing on education using renewable technologies they're going to be taking some stuff to the base camp uh, maybe using a couple of bits of gear on the top of the mountain. You know, if we can do it in Antarctica, that's what they'll be saying. You know, we should be able to do it back in Australia. And if not, why not? Um, that's the question, really. We can't just go on hiding our heads in the sand and saying, oh, well, it'll be all right, somebody else will do something about it. We're in the business of, of showing leadership and inspiration in doing stuff. And if you haven't got a great story, in today's world, people won't listen to you. They're going to go and climb a mountain that's the highest in the whole of the Antarctica. It's incredibly difficult to get there. It costs a lot to get there. But these guys will justify not only their effort, but the fundraising effort, which is really necessary. So all the words that we've talked about all sound good, but none of it's going to bloody happen unless we raise some money. So my view is, this is the beginning, not only of the journey, but it's the beginning of really getting the last money in place for them to make this happen. So Craig and Jay, <laughs> keeping it cool, but the question is why? Why keep it cool? Well, I think what was outlined was how much ice is actually locked up in Antarctica. And if we're going to release up to maybe three to four kilometres thick of ice, we're going to be swimming down here. That's one good reason, but we're also going to bring it back home. We're going to lose the um, Great Barrier Reef as well. So keeping it cool is really what it's all about. It works both ways, in the tropics and in the Antarctica. And why not go to the coldest continent in the world to shine the spotlight on the global warming? And Jay, what's, what's your kind of um, philosophy behind this mission? I mean, really, I just come from a passionate base. We love these places. We can't really explain why we love them, but it's a part of our soul, and that's what we're all about. We want to see our kids be able to go there, and we want to make sure that they can for generations to come. Thanks for your time. Yeah, so basically, in one simple sentence, it's think global, act local. But actually, it's more than that. It's act local, act global. So 
That's what it's all about, and I'm delighted that they're doing it, and we're going to make this happen. It, it's a done deal. Okay. Thank you. All right. All right.